So again, this is just a turn, a whoosh, and a turn. Thank you. Turn and a whoosh. Now, we talk about flexibility and we talk about balance. The only way you can have both is then we've got to keep your balance. Anytime you lose your balance, you're enforcing uh, toe shots, heel shots, high shots. So what I like to do is go ahead, get up on one leg, and hit it. <laughs> go ahead and get on your right leg. So again, balance. Get in the middle of the there. Yes, sir. There's no thought. Anytime I think about wrist, my timing kind of gets off. I know that when I get at the top of my golf swing, there's a set, there's a hold, and I know when I get in a position where it's time to let it go, you better let it go because your arms will fly off. <laughs> um, so again, turn, set, hold it, and let it go. Always think about creating that whoosh at the ball or in front of the ball. Never here. When you throw the puck from the top, you're, that's the biggest power leap you can have. The, the whoosh should be at the ball or in front of the ball. That's where all the distance is created. Anytime you throw the club, timing's off, all your power is gone. Your wrists are pointing straight instead of in this position. All right, so that's the number one tip, power leap right there. Create the whoosh at the ball or after the ball. Always. Am I conscious of it? Uh, not really. In competition, I mean, you the moment. That's like if I were to throw this ball at you, would you think about it when I threw it, or would you just catch it? Kind of the same idea. If I'm looking to th throw this ball, are you going to sit back? And I said, throw it as far as you can. Are you going to go like this? Or are you going to take a step in and let it go? Just a flick of the wrist. When you crack a whip, are you going to crack it like this, or are you going to crack it like this? When you skip a stone, are you going to throw it like this, or are you going to throw it like this? It's all the flick of the wrist. <coughs> That's the key to all the power. All right, then we go lefty. I play hockey left-handed, so I can uh, kind of count it natural just to go ahead and Hit the low one. Heat up a little higher. A little higher shot. See, that's a fake. It's left handed. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go ahead and just hit it left handed. Directionally challenged, but again, the idea is there. Going that thing straight. Alright. Little tight draw on it. But again, balance is hitting the middle of the face. Alright. Here's something that I see every day. Usually when I do stuff like this, I'll play in the throw end. And I'll sit on a far five and hit ball for every group. And this is what I get. How much if I hit a body? Let's say, you know, I'll give you whatever you want. And the first thing that comes up is this guy. <laughs> and I'm standing back. Just laugh. Because I know that. Stiff, rigid. Bent over. <laughs> Top shot. Oh, give me one more. Now, now he's mad. So he's going to hit it harder. Wider stance. All right, here we go. Move him up. <laughs> and you bury it. And then when they get real good at it, you say, okay, sir. 
Why don't you go ahead and hit a top cut? Well, he gets up there. The grass is too wet, so it won't go. 